Yes, it is me, Market Vendor here again today. Well, you know, we like to give out, you know, criticisms and so on, but we like to give out praises too as well. And today I want to thank the people at Trident Insurance for their pothole patching program that they're going on all over Barbados. And all you got to do is to call them up and tell them where you see these potholes and they are going to try and help the ministry and they are going out there and patching potholes too as well. Well done, well done, well done. Bravo, bravo, bravo. Now you talk about doing bravo. We talk about bravo to the folks at Trident Insurance. One of the things I noticed though on the publicity that you put out, Mm -hmm. And the action that you show, fixing up on the South Coast Road and oh lost, that road real bad though, I'll tell you true. That road need complete milling and repaving and so on. Hope it coming. But look, I want to tell one of this here. I noticed that when I got the machine that compacting it. And I often wonder why the people at MTW don't use those machines too as well. I know that they used to have them, whether they break down, lick up, break up, rust out or whatever, I don't really know. But I'm sure if they talk to somebody like Mr. Neil Weeks up at C.O. Williams, they will find out where to get them from. They might even be able to rent some from them too as well. Huh? Because it don't make no sense putting the asphalt down and just leaving it for motor cars to drive over it. No, you want to get it clean out, the whole clean out, and you want to get it compacted properly. Not a man stand up on the back of a truck and just dumping some, you know, shovels of, 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 of hot asphalt into the hole. That is a start, but that can't be the finish. So I am happy to see that the folks at Trident Insurance is doing it. And not only doing it, but doing it the right way, where they're clearing out the hole and then they're putting in the asphalt and they're also, you know, making sure that they compact it so that it don't really open back up again too soon. That is what you call a public spirited effort by the people at Trident Insurance. Well done to y'all. And I'm sure that all right-minded people in Barbados and other companies in Barbados will also find programs and opportunities where they can play a part and put back into the community. Mark it gone for now. You have a blessed, wonderful day. And listen, by the way, huh? I hope somebody I remember Philip driving Pine Gardens. I've been speaking about that there for a while. 44 years is long enough. Mm -hmm. You need to come and fix that road completely. Patching it anymore. You got, <laughs> they got a song called Patches. <laughs> if we had to choose a song for that area, it would be called Patches. Cause that's all you got in that road. You know, beer patches. Huh? I know they got enough roads that need fixing. And I know it's going to take a little time. But come here. Think about these people out here saw in Pine Gardens and Philip Drive. Because, look, let me tell you, enough cars is traversed about here when the morning come. And apparently recently two commercial trucks got, look like we got a little supermarket down here. Huh? Enough trucks, enough buses and sedars, all kinds of illegal activities because they ain't supposed to be on this street. But yet yeah, still they're out there. So at least come and let me get that road fixed up. No? I'm only a market vendor. You, call, you have a blessed and a wonderful day today. You hear? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>